This tutorial will show you how to set up TypeMill. We will configure the system, set up the themes, and also install plugins. First, let's go to the login screen. The login page can be reached at forward slash tm forward slash login. Enter your credentials and log in. After logging in, you'll be redirected to the content area. Let's go over the settings. Here, you can adjust general system settings. Add your website title and the global author name. You can also customize your license as well as the starting year of the publication. Next, you can choose the language of the admin area from the list of available languages. And you can set the language attribute for the front end of your website. In this case, we're going to select DE for German. This is the link to your website's Google sitemap. Leave this as is, as it's important for your SEO. The next section is called General Presentation. Here you can upload a logo or a fave icon. We'll skip that for now. You can also activate headline anchors. However, this will only work if your theme supports this function. Now let's take a quick look at the front end. To do this, go to View Site at the top of the page. Scroll down to Getting Started. If you go to the Write Content section, you'll find that an anchor link, represented by a hashtag symbol, appears next to the heading. So you can share deep links to the headers on your pages when the theme allows for it. The next section is about writing. Here you can select the editor. There will be a separate tutorial for this. However, the basic choice is between the Visual Markdown Editor and the Raw Markdown Editor. In addition, you can select the individual content elements you want to be available in the Visual Editor. Next is the Access Control section. Here you can fine-tune the access to individual pages. I'll also have a separate tutorial to show you how to set up member areas. Go ahead and click on this first checkbox. This enables you to close access to the entire website. Only you and your registered users will have access. This is useful in a variety of scenarios, like when you're building a new website. You can use this to block access until you're ready to launch. Then simply remove the restriction when you're done. The last section here is for developers. These settings will really only be relevant if you're a developer or you want full control over your website's configuration specs. For example, you can run your website via proxy, which is common in many companies. Okay, we're done configuring the settings. Now let's look at themes. You'll find them under the navigation link called themes. This is the default cyanine theme. If you'd like, you can change this theme. Go to the theme store link to explore other options. Of course, this isn't really a store, it's just a list of all the free type mill themes. Some themes do offer a support add-on for a nominal fee. Let's take a closer look at the default theme. Now, Cyanine allows for extensive customization. However, this is different from theme to theme. With Cyanine, however, you can set different segments for the landing page. There are five or six segments available. We won't look at them in detail now. There are other parts of the site you can customize, like the footer. You can also choose different font families as well as colors for your site here. For example, you can create a dark theme without ever having to create CSS styles for it. That said, all themes do allow you to write your own CSS rules. You'll find that at the bottom of this section. For now, all I want to do is change a few pieces of text. First, let's look at the welcome screen. I want to write something else here. So I'm going to enter type mill as my title and demo installation and tutorial for the text. For the button, I'm going to add a link to the registration function. It doesn't currently exist, but that's okay. I'll show you how to set it up with a plugin in a future type mill tutorial. Next, let's review your work and save your changes. We can now view the changes on the site. Here you can see the registration button as well as the new text I created. I will now finish setting up the rest of the welcome page. So I spent some time setting up the rest of the website. I changed some of the text, added some more info, 
I also customized the table of contents, and here I added a teaser with a reference to my professional services. And that's it. Of course, you can do a lot more in terms of customization. That's not something we're going to do here today, though. Let's move on to the next topic, plugins. You'll find them under the plugins link in the navigation. As of right now, there aren't any plugins installed. To install a new plugin, go to the plugins store. Similar to themes, this is a directory of plugins. All of them are free of charge. However, some may ask you for a donation in order to support the development and management of the plugin. Now, let's say we want to publish ebooks on our site. So we'll need to download this ebook plugin. Click the download button. You'll receive the plugin as a zip file. It'll be saved to a local folder first. Locate it under plugins and extract the file. Now you can upload the content from the ebook folder to the plugin directory on your web server. And that's all you have to do. After that, return to TypeMill and update the plugin page to find your newly installed ebook plugin. To activate and use this plugin, click the Activate checkbox. There are a few settings you can customize for this particular plugin. Other plugins may have significantly more settings, similar to themes. For this plugin, I only have one. I can use the ebook as an admin, and I can use it in my pages. I click both the checkboxes, save my changes, and now you can see a new navigation link called ebooks. We'll take a closer look at this in a different tutorial. We're almost done with this one. We have just two more points to go over. This is the link to your account settings. Here you can edit your user profile with a variety of details. You can also assign yourself a different role. We'll review what these roles do in another tutorial. There's also a users link in the navigation. You can manage the access rights and roles for all of your users. At the moment, there's only one user but I can create a new one by clicking Create New User, and I can also assign the corresponding role to them from this page. That's everything you need to know about setting up the system, configuring themes, installing plugins, and managing users with TypeMill.